G'day, Josh from Inyard Homestead. Well, I'm a bit excited for this video. Today's video, I'm gonna be cooking a goat roast. I've been looking forward to this for a little while now. So let's get into it. I'm just gonna keep this one nice and simple with the seasoning, um, some salt, pepper, Lots of pepper. And then some garlic powder. Oop. Sometimes I cut holes in to put herbs like rosemary and thyme, garlic, like cloves in. But this time I'm just keeping it nice and simple. And do the same on the other side. Place it in the baking tray, get this board out of the way, and I'm going to place a little bit of oil because goat doesn't have a lot of fat. There we go, and now I'm going to add the cooking thermometer. You always want to put it into the thickest part of the meat. And there we go. It's ready to go in to the smoker. Okay, so it's in the smoker. I've got to add the timber as well to make the smoke. I'm going to be using jam wood. This is the first time I'm actually using this thermometer, like meat thermometer. I've always wanted one. Like goat is a very lean meat, not much fat, um, and it can dry out very quickly. So having a thermometer is going to help, like, to get the right precise cooking time um, that perfect interior um, temperature so this will yeah this is all linked to the phone through bluetooth as well um, i haven't been able to show you the full thing but i've taken some uh, screenshots of the app um, and the procedures to take it's quite simple Here's a piece of jam wood. This will be um, what gives the nice smoky flavour to the meat. And this nice lump of wood will be a good, good lot of smoke. Whoops! Hopefully that didn't go too far back. <laughs> um, will be create a nice, good lot of smoke for this meat. The smoke's coming through now. Let's clear the back up so we don't lose too much heat.
put the potatoes on the fire to soften them up. Ah, perfect. Just checking that the potatoes are soft, just soft. Like they're still going to be firm, but soft enough that the fork will go in. So they're ready to take off and drain. All right, potatoes are ready. So I'm just gonna scoop them up into this chip basket to drain them off. Okay, it's picked up with the wind now, but the alarm's just gone off, so that means it's ready. So let's open it up, get it out and get it to rest, and then carve it up. Oh, nice. Now we can take that thermometer out tongs to hold on to this well it's there we go oh that is beautifully done oh yeah look at that perfect here we go I've got a fork will make it easier Oh, I can't wait till I've got a proper bench too. <laughs> but this is nice. It's nice and moist. It's actually probably one of the best roasts of um, roast goats I've actually cooked, actually. Beautiful. Well, I'm going to carve, keep carving this up and plate it up. Well, it's finally ready. I've been looking forward to this for a long time, this goat roast. Right, so let's have a taste. Well, why is it coming around? Beautiful. Mmm. It just melts in your mouth. It's so moist. Oh, just beautiful. Like goat is really hard to get just right. Like if it dries out, it's well, it still tastes good, but it's yeah, you like to have that nice moist, yeah, um, just right flavour. That's why that's Armito, the thermometer. Wow, yeah, I'm actually really impressed with that. Uh, I thought that I was going to be anyway. I have seen a lot of people using the meat thermometers before and I, I've always wanted one. So now I do have one. I can cook the perfect roast, the perfect steak or perfect anything without having to stress or worry about um, it being undercooked or too overcooked. So it really does make life a lot easier in the cooking. Anyway. I'm going to enjoy this awesome feed. Oh, actually, I've got these nice crispy potatoes too that I've done in the skillet. Oh, crackly, they're still hot. But they're good. Well, that was a great meal. I really enjoyed that. So the arm eater uh, thermometer, I'll leave the link down in the description below and in the comments. And also there's a, uh, a code that you can use that will... Um, uh, in your yard homestead i'll leave the code down there as well go and check them out like it really does make cooking a lot easier all right guys thank you so much for watching
Until next time, God bless you guys.